Hey YouTubers, thanks so much for watching this video. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Trish with Just Dance. And in this series, we're going giving you tips to improve your posture, frame, technique, connection, and musicality in the common patterns of salsa. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you technique to improve your basic step in salsa. So let's go ahead and get to it. <laughs> All right, so first I'm gonna demonstrate the basic for salsa on one. And I'm gonna show you uh, first facing you and then I'll turn around. So it looks like this, I'm doing the leader's part. So I'm gonna start with my left foot. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven. One more time, three and five, six, seven. I'm gonna turn around and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So for our technique today, I'm gonna to talk about the Cuban motion, which is the main characteristic for this dance. So Cuban motion is the bending and straightening of the knees on each weight change that you take. And it causes a reaction through your body, uh, making your hips swing, your body is reacting by going the opposite way, and you get your really nice look that is very characteristic of this dance. So my tips for you today in having better Cuban motion is to make sure that on your forward step on the one, it is ball flat footwork, but we wanna make sure that when we step with our left foot, the heel lowers right away, instantly. That way you can quickly arrive on your foot and then have time to dance the body in that one beat of music. If we do a delay lower of that heel, then it's gonna take longer to put the heel down, it's gonna take longer to dance the body, and you will have less time to complete the body action. So my tip again is to make sure that that heel lowers instantly. And when we do our rock step, of course, on the back step, which we've said in a lot of videos so far, um, we wanna make sure that the heel just gets close to the ground but doesn't sink down into the ground, which causes the weight to go too far back. So you wanna make sure that that heel does not lower all the way, that way the hip can have a swing up and help you to shift your weight back forward to complete that rock step, which was something Carolina talked about in the first video without getting into too much detail. So by keeping that heel from lowering all the way, our hip can swing like a pendulum and come all the way up and cause us to shift our weight back forward to complete the rock. So again, forward step, that heel is gonna lower right away. And then on the back step, the heel is not going to lower. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the knees. The way that we bend and straighten our knees plays a huge role in our success of dancing Cuban motion properly. So on every single step, you need to have a bending and straightening of the knee that you're stepping on. So when I'm stepping with my left foot forward, Notice that in preparation for this step, the left knee bends, the right leg is straight, which is my supporting leg, and then as soon as my weight goes onto that front foot, my left foot, the knee is still flexed, and then I'm going to straighten the knee, causing the hip to go forward over the ball of the left foot, and that is gonna cause my hip to swing, and then I can rotate it around, which brings my right knee forward. So now I can shift my weight back and go through the same motion of bending and straightening that knee. Bending the knee, taking a step, bending and straightening. And then I bend the right knee, take a step back, straighten it, causing the hip to swing, and again, so on and so forth. Every single step with bending and straightening the knee. So I'll show you from a different angle. Again, leader's footwork. We bend in preparation, the left knee comes forward, right leg is straight, right hip goes back. We step, lowering the heel instantly, the left knee is flexed, then the left knee is going to straighten, causing the, right, the left hip to swing up like a pendulum, and then there's a rotation that happens, causing the right knee to bend in preparation for the next step. Bend and straighten, then repeat, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend straight. So go ahead and practice this very slowly, a lot, so you can get more comfortable with it. It is not natural. It takes a lot of time and patience. And once you get more comfortable with it, try putting it to the rhythm of the dance and increasing your speed so you can get more comfortable with doing it on every step. So one more time, let's dance it together. 
five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. So that's my tips for you to improve your Cuban motion in the salsa, remembering to lower the heel right away on the forward step and not lower the heel on the rock step of the back part of it. And then also bending and straightening the knees on every single step. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. And as always, hit the subscribe button at the top so you can get notified for all the videos we create on a regular basis. We'll see you soon.